and enough is enough. That's the message Seattle police are sending to protesters who damage businesses. And now the city is going to get tougher on people who can't march peacefully. Joining us live this morning is Seattle City Attorney Pete Holmes. Pete, thanks for waking up with early with us today. We appreciate it. Good morning, Jake. Thank you. Good to see you again. Uh, first, we want to make the distinction that your office only prosecutes misdemeanor crimes. It's the King County Prosecutor's Office that handles the felonies. Can you briefly exp explain that distinction? That, that's exactly correct, uh, Jacob. The, uh, the other thing I would add is that, you know, if we go to Wednesday night, which has seemed to generate a lot of concern, including on my part, that uh, there were three arrests made by the SPD. And uh, one of those uh, felony level cases was actually referred to the feds, uh, to the U.S. Attorney's Office for damage to federal property. Mm. The damage that we saw to the Starbucks, that's felony level uh, damage, and that's been sent to the King County prosecutor. And then a third uh, arrest was made for assault that was referred to our office. And uh, we immediately charged that case. So, so let's uh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. I was. I was going to say, I, I, the main point I wanted to make, though, as far as any confusion, is that that is perfectly consistent with the policy that we announced in June uh, once the uh, George Floyd murder protests got underway. That is that we're not going to pro, pro, uh, excuse me, prosecute uh, peaceful protesters. Okay. What we saw on Wednesday night was not peaceful protest, yeah. and uh, we, we promptly charged. That is for sure. Okay, so let's expand on that a little bit. Police have made about 600 arrests uh, since protests started in June, as you said. In many cases, misdemeanors have not been prosecuted, though, especially those arrested repeatedly for vandalism. H how can your office change that, and are you satisfied with everything up to this point? Well, you know, the same pandemic that has really caused a global shutdown uh, in business and in downtown Seattle has also impacted our criminal justice system. What the jail has done, which is operated by the county, and I think wisely, is to uh, refuse to book or to, to keep in custody, that is, people except those who have committed violent crimes against people and uh, DUIs and violations of no contact orders. Those are the direct threats to public safety. Property crimes, even violent property crimes, uh, are not adjudged to be uh, uh, someone that should be kept in the jail, which could in turn become a charnel house in, amidst mm. the, the, the COVID pandemic. Mm. And what that means is that at arraignment, we have in custody arraignments, there will be no defendants that are in jail at an in-custody arraignment for property destruction. We will have, uh, that's not to say that isn't violent and won't be charged eventually, but uh, because it's not a crime against the person, we are not able to arraign them and to immediately address their situation. Mm. Those will come later. Pete, Pete what, do you, what do you say to, to, to store owners who move out of town frustrated with the, the damage to their storefronts? They put their heart and soul into their business. It's their dream. It's their livelihood. And they're out of town because they think Seattle's a lost cause. What do, you, what do you say to these folks? Well, you know, I think you could go to your own uh, news organization. Seattle is not alone. We're all suffering from this global pandemic. And it's the global pandemic that has really caused so much of the, of the devastation economically to us. But again, uh, th they must understand that uh, the police are on hand to help maintain order. They have discretion to make those arrests. And uh, in contrast, uh, the last Wednesday's uh, events, in contrast to the summers where there was such large scale mass protests and sorting out the mayhem after the fact has been, has been difficult. Now we're at a point where we have the opportunity to uh, start to address the backlog and they need to understand that the government is working as diligently as it can. Mm. In our case, we have well over 5,000 cases that are teed up mm. once the court resumes normal operations. Wow. So the fact that a case may not have been charged yet doesn't mean that it won't be charged, mm -hmm. but it will be considered pursuant to the same policy we announced in June. That is, only peaceful protesters need not worry, but, the, but those who come to do that violence, to do that property destruction, you do have to uh, expect okay. a reckoning. It will be coming. Yeah. I could uh, talk to you for an hour, Pete. So many questions. We'll continue at another time. we got to leave it right at that for now. Pete Holmes, City Attorney of Seattle, thanks so much for clearing some stuff up this morning. We'll check back.
You bet. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah.